In this lesson, we will learn about possible outcomes and probability. So if I have two dice and I roll them, there are a number of possible outcomes. Okay, this happens to be a five and a one, like right, oops, right there. So five and a one. That's one of the possible outcomes. This chart shows all of the possible outcomes when you roll two dice. You can have a one and a one, a two and a one, a three and a one, and so on and so forth, with all the different possibilities, all the way up to a six and a six, okay? So we can use all of these possible outcomes to help us find some probability. So here are a few different types of, or a few different probability questions that I have. What is the probability of rolling at least one one? Well, I look at all my possible outcomes and I find all of the outcomes that have at least one one. And I see they're all in these two columns. So I'm simply going to count all of these possibilities. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There are 11 outcomes that have at least one one in them, 11 outcomes, but all together there are, well, six times six total outcomes. So there are 36 outcomes all together. 11 of them have at least one one in them. So the probability of rolling at least one one is 11 out of 36. Let's try another one. What's the probability of rolling double fours? So I look at all my outcomes and I fig figure out how many times can I get double fours? Well, there's only one opportunity for me to get double fours. So there's one outcome of double fours out of 36 total. So the probability of rolling double fours is one out of 36. One more. What's the probability that the sum of the numbers will be 10, so you get a sum of 10. If I look on all of these possible outcomes, I can see that I can get six plus four is 10, five plus five is 10, and four plus six is 10. Actually, I'll make that a plus, so it doesn't look like multiplication. So there are three possible outcomes. That's 11, 12, that's nine. So three, there are three possibilities of getting 10, and there are still 36 total possible outcomes, and I can actually reduce this to 1 out of 12. So the probability of getting a sum of 10 is 1 out of 12. And that's the end of this lesson on possible outcomes and probability.